guys welcome to my life as i live it my name is kenna and i am a cameroonian content creator based in Tulala, Cameroon. okay so today i'm going to do another cook with me and yeah guys you everybody asked me to do the cameroonian casserole recipe so that's what i'll be doing today and i am pretty excited to share my mom's recipe with you like for me this is pretty a pretty basic recipe simple recipe common recipe like this is how i cook almost everything i cook so there's nothing really special about it so but you guys said i should show you so that is what i'm going to do right now so um you know i'm not doing regular recipe i'm going to be doing the recipe while gc with you and this today today we're going to be talking about how to plan your finances or how i plan my finances for my family okay this video is not going to be a fail in jesus name like this video i don't want the video to fail so the first thing i'm going to do is show you guys the spices and then we're going to go straight and so start. The, first thing we have, the first thing we have is a peeled washed irish potato macaroni that's half packet from the last time i made it um here we have tomatoes onions we have our tail cow here we have <laughs> um white pepper and my favorite spice kitchen glory mixed spice we have carrots i would not be putting green beans because nobody really cares about it in this house um we have green peppers here we have leeks we have um, garlic and green spices this is what we are going to be using to prepare this meal so the first thing with casserole is um you parboil the potatoes you boil the macaroni and then continue the process so i've already heated water i'm just going to go ahead pour it let the macaroni and the potatoes start boiling and Okay guys, the first thing that I'll tell you which is very important, this is something I learned over the years and it has been helping me a lot, I'm just chopping the tomatoes guys, and it's been helping me a lot is just to make a list of everything I need before the money comes in. What I discovered is that if you don't make a list, I don't know what that maybe happens just to me, but I, what I discovered was that, oh my god there's so much noise. What I discovered was that if I do not make a list, <coughs> excuse me, if I do not make a list before money comes in, right, it gets so difficult for me to stick to the list, stick to my budget and all that. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I decided that the first and most important thing I always need to do is just ensure that I. I uh, just ensure that I, I make a list of everything and at this point I'm not making a list only of the things that I feel like I really really need like I what I want what I need I just make a list of everything that's how I do it. I basically make a list of everything whether it's a want or a need I put it on the list and then from that I can see what is really important and what is not important and that helps me a lot because when the money comes um, I ensure that I get every single thing that I need more. In fact, I think I always get everything I need first before anything I want. Okay? Yeah, because, for example, there are some times when, okay, let me give up a good example now. Like now, I have no leather slippers. Like I have no footwear. I don't have like good leather slippers. If I have to go somewhere, I can just put on and go. You get? So, if you ask me right now, like, what do, if I have money, if somebody gives me and I don't even do it only for the house like for my everyday, that's something I do if somebody gives me money or if I make my money, I already know that top on my list right now is food where I don't have something comfortable to wear to go out so automatically if you give me 
money now right i already know what's top on my list because i've already made a list so i feel like making a list of everything you want is always really important because it really helps guys i know that i've blended the green spices and the garlic already i just i'll just throw it inside so that everything will just blend and mix and then also i'll go ahead and add the white pepper and the mixed spices inside so that it should just blend i know that i don't have to start adding and adding but you could still do it the other way though you could still blend only your tomatoes and onions and then you when you fry it or when you boil it you start adding in the spices anyway works but for me that's what i'll do i'll just dump everything inside so that it should mix so i know that i'm not supposed to add anything in. again one thing i want to thank you for, for is please forgive me my kitchen is a mess I'm just cooking, cleaning because I'm trying to work, I'm working on time. So I'll just be doing this and cleaning at once. So let me go ahead and blend and then we'll continue. So a macaroni is ready. I'm just going to go ahead and um, rinse and seed it and then this is it Just keep it near the oil so that as the oil gets hot, we start frying. Okay, guys, so um, I'm going to start. So, guys, I'm going to start um, cleaning up and then continue. The next thing I'm going to say, which is kind of related to making the list, is budget. So, you want to ensure that you budget and you budget very well. And it's here I'm going to tell you that and see and who do not spend do not spend more than you earn do not spend more than you have I see this is where a lot of people go wrong because they keep spending more than they earn they spend more than they have and it's straight she's coming she has got to buy and it just gets worse by the day so do not spend more than you earn always come up with a budget and your budget should be making sense don't come up with a budget that your budget is 50 million your salary is 1 million myra do not come with a budget of 50 million where your salary is 1 million mm -mm. budget according to how much you make so yeah you have to yeah yeah come now come on thank your god just spend make your budget according to what you make and it should make sense like that's another way we plan um, obviously as they promote my husband as my youtube is getting better that's how my budget is adding but you never see me for one day going to take um going to budget um things that my money cannot afford like i'm just like no 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 you have to spend less than what you earn and no more than what you earn because if not you will just be borrowing and be in debt for the rest of your life so that's another thing that we do each time each end of month we come together we say okay this is what i've made this is what this is what i've made okay we take out the money for rent we take out the money for feeding we take out the money for emergencies take out every single thing okay so that is it if you don't budget if you don't plan how you have to spend your money you're already like <laughs> close to failing they are really close to failing they are really close to stressing yourself i know that sometimes saying all of these things some people are like oh, okay now you're just saying all of that thing those things but is it easy it's not easy it can never be easy but that is 
that is just how it works for me and i'm not going to come here and deceive people and i'm like <laughs> i've always been that a financial person calculating <laughs> no that has never been me i say if i tell you that if i tell you that <laughs> will you believe like no nah, that's never been me it looks like our, our spices are dry so i'll go ahead now and dump our oil okay put our oil and as usual i'm putting a lot of oil going to put our oil oh my god guys this smells heavy you could either you could still do it the opposite way that you actually decide to um put oil then fry the tomatoes but me there's always a lot of water in tomatoes so i prefer to do it this way so okay there you have it i'll leave it to fry a bit then i'm going to go to the next step and this point the oil for the potato should be hot Yes, it is. So I will go ahead and put the If you overboil the potato, it's going to break the scatter when you're doing this part. So you want to ensure that the potato is as strictly parboiled. I'll go ahead and put in the green pepper, chopped green peppers, fresh pepper. And mix. Okay. So it's not as um, as pink or red as I want it to be. So I'm going to put in a bit of tin tomato. If this one is by choice, so you could still like the color like that. But for me, I like it to be a bit red. So I'm going to add in a little bit of potato of um, tin tomato inside. Not the full packet, but just a bit. Just enough to make it red. Okay. So, put the tomatoes inside. Add a little bit of water because of the tin tomatoes and leave it to boil some more. For me, this is basically how I cook two tomato sauce, right? This is basically how I cook it. So, I'm going to leave it now to boil for a bit then I'll come back and continue. I wish you could get the the aroma coming from my kitchen. My kitchen is smelling like heaven. It smells so good already. Oops I forgot I'll put in I'll throw in the cow tail as well inside so that the flavor should get zip inside. Yeah, I was saying that um if I come here and tell you guys that I'm a financial woman, I've always been planning, planning is my thing financially, it's a lie. I'm, I still struggle with my finances, I still struggle with managing my money, I still struggle with, but I'm so happy that my husband is the financial person, he's the person that will tell me that overspending, he's the person that is mindful when it comes to finances so that helps me a lot that's why um there was this video i did and i was like i don't want to get married to somebody i would i i don't think marrying somebody that says um handles finances same like me is a good idea because hmm if my husband was like me i'm not sure we would have saved as much as we have saved i'm not sure we'll be budgeting as well as we budget uh if you were going with some crazy ideas i make like guys king and queen and we have nothing nothing to show for the work that we do so for that i am very happy that i have somebody that is financial is financially controlled and i didn't want you to put the carrot like that it's ready like this so our casserole sauce is ready our macaroni is ready um what i'm going to do now is turn the macaroni into the sauce and I turn up the fire like it's not done on fire when it's on fire. What I'll do is since this side catches close less, I'm going to change the fire. Let's put our potatoes this way. I think even the potatoes are made. The sauce, oh my god, it's so yummy. I'm so so yummy. This is like the sauce, so it's simple what we're going to do. 
I'm just going to put in the macaroni meat and mix properly. Okay, so um, that is basically it, guys. And then create a reserve, create a reserve because that's what I'll say. Create a reserve, create a reserve because see, it's not easy. It for me, it doesn't make any sense if you're working and you're not saving, even if you're not saving, saving, join in Yangi or something that just helps you to. No, it's a form of saving and you can use that money to do something really huge like ah as small as it is it doesn't make any it doesn't it doesn't feel small always keep a reserve so that in case i have to be disciplined keep that money i know that i'm not touching this money until i see that it's an emergency i really really need it it's something a do or die issue you get and another thing i do is when they give me the whole budget the whole money for feeding for the month and I don't use it all like I'll, if they give me for say 100k I'm going to keep 30k and then I use 70k okay I keep 30k and I, I use 70k and I'm like okay let's see if we can manage this 70k if by the last month the last week of the month or things like that I feel like this 70k cannot go then I take out that money from that reserve from that money and use them if not i've saved something so yeah guys that is just it that is what i how i plan my finances in my family <laughs> what do you guys think do you have other tips so our potato is almost ready i am home i'm like 15 minutes late i'll just hurry up bring this plate and then um i'm going to catch you guys later let me know what you think about this do you have any more suggestions please topics like this in particular i like to get more ideas because it helps me a lot you guys don't know how much you my subscribers help me so please just tell me more let's discuss more in the comment section um let me stop ranting here Cameroonian casserole really simple I did not take up to 30 minutes to cook this and guys trust me it tastes as delicious as it looks you can cook this with any kind of beef you want um, yeah so guys um, thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this I hope you guys could try this and send me videos and pictures of how it came out thank you very much for watching and I am going to see you on my next one love you bye